Hey there, everybody. I hope you all had a terrific spring break, and I certainly look forward to reading your Lit Circle papers, which should be posted by midnight tonight. I wanted to give you a brief overview of Module 7, which will obviously be due next week. So this week we're going to be looking at um, relationships, building relationships with students, and why students misbehave. So as usual, I've created a response sheet that has the links you need for the videos you're going to watch. So the first thing you're going to do is just consider mis a misbehavior and how it was handled. And then there's four videos that were narrated by Dr. Valerie Beltron. I didn't do these. So if it doesn't sound like me, that's because it's not. But she did such a good job, I thought we would just use hers rather than reinvent the wheel. So she's the first one talks about why students misbehave, ways that teachers escalate misbehavior, which I'm sure we've all seen, ways to deal with it, and what do students want from their teachers. And oops, there's a typo here, which I'm not going to change. So you're going to have a typo on yours. You can fix it. Then what you're going to do is look at some texts and those are posted on the Blackboard site and you'll just link right to them and answer some questions related to them. And then finally post your response sheet and then going back to an initial um, situation you considered, post to the class blog about um, that student's misbehavior, what you think was behind now that we've talked about some of the reasons that students misbehave, what do you think motivated that misbehavior and a recommendation based on some of the things you looked at tonight in class and what would have been a supportive way to respond. Whether or not the person responded well or you responded well, you could either evaluate the response and explain why it was supportive or effective or recommend a different response. So that's it for tonight. And I also want you to consider, and I mentioned this at the end of the um, response sheet here, that your hot topic presentations are due in three weeks. So you may want, if you haven't already connected with your Hot Topic partner, go ahead and start working on that so you can get that posted by April 11th. Also, you may want to, since last week you spent time really looking at what are the other big assignments, start working on some of the other assignments like the district profile, which is an independent assignment. So maybe start thinking about who you're going to interview in that district, what are some of the questions you're going to ask. If you have not already started previewing information on that district, do that. Eventually, I'm going to assign you to watch the um, district the video on using EdData, and it's posted here in the district profile assignment. You can go ahead and watch it if you have time, anytime, but it will be required at some point within the next couple weeks. So if you find yourself having free time, it's about, I want you to watch at least the first 30 minutes. You can go on from there, but the first 30 minutes will give you more than you need to know, and it really is worth it. I was part of the live presentation and it was an excellent description. There's a lot more stuff in there than I even knew. So there's that and feel free to contact me as usual if you have any questions. Have a good week.